with our isobus implement i have a lot of lot of controls on the uh, on the screen there and uh, what i can do is i can get those assigned to the uh, to the armrest of the of the tractor and so what i can do then is i can press the uh, the backwards falls arrow as we see on the bottom of the of the screen there bring myself across to the uh, um, to the actual uh, armrest assignment and uh, unlock it and down here then as i can see my uh, my isobus implements if i tap on uh, that one and now i can see all my uh, all my isobus controls um, for the uh, for the implement and then i can scroll scroll through them everything then that the uh, the machine can do is now i can start to uh, assign to the uh, to the joystick so as long as i then get a green box so here i just put the master on off for the spread as long as i get a green box then is i can apply that to the uh, to the particular joystick uh, there and again I can either put them to the uh, to the main joystick or then if I've got a tractor with the 3L joystick then again is I can uh, I can assign those uh, those functions but what you'll notice then is my start stop there is now greyed out I can't then put that start stop button anywhere else on the uh, anywhere else on the screen or on the armrest should I say so once you've assigned a function then I can no longer select it until I've deleted it back off so if I uh, delete that one off the uh, off the screen now all of a sudden it becomes uh, active again and so if I did want to put things uh, everything onto my uh, onto my 3L joystick now all of a sudden then I can say okay yeah I want to have my master on off there it's now lost for selection but then I can have say a, a you know an increase rate and a, a decrease rate uh, going on um, with uh, with that one on the little thumb uh, thumb part of the uh, of the joystick. So we can start to build up then the uh, the list of uh, of what we got going on there. If we don't see our uh, our spreader icon or our isobus icon down here, is it might be that it's a uh, what they call as an AUX N or an AUX O machine. And so what we need to do is just go into our uh, go into our three lines at the at the top of the uh, up the top of the screen. Go to our system setup. Go across to our isobus, and uh, just scroll down. And then it might be here then that we need to change from aux in this example here from aux n to aux o, or vice versa um, there to uh, bring back into the uh, into the screen then the isobus settings so this button here then was introduced in f.05 software